Given the graph of f of x is equal to x squared, sorry, given the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. So this is my graph, f of x, and that is equal to the absolute value of x. We're going to use transformations to graph x plus 2, absolute valued, plus, sorry, let me start that, to sketch the graph y is equal to the absolute value of x plus 1, close, the bracket plus 2. Well, I'm going to just go through this list here, and h and k. The value of h is equal to negative 1. The value of k is 2. Now, I got that negative 1 from here. I got that, pos or that k of 2 from what is being added to my function. So, let me describe the transformation in words. So, when h is equal to negative 1, this implied that f of x was shifted two units, sorry, incorrect, one unit, to the left. and k being 2, this implied that graph, I'm just going to call it graph, was shifted 2 units up. So now we're going to need to graph our transformations. But while I graph my transformations, I'm actually going to look at the next bullet. The next bu bullet says, use mapping notation to describe how each point is mapped into the new function. So I have f of x, y is equal to f of x, and I have point x comma y. That's how I'm starting off. But then I am going to look at my blue, and my blue says I need to shift two units to the left. So when I do that, it becomes y is equal to f, sorry, y, is equal to f x plus 1. That is, we have an h that is negative 1. My mistake. So that negative should be there. And that's how it looks. And if I shift my point x, y left, it implies that is x minus 1, y. That is, I only move the x coordinate left one unit. And final, finally, uh, y is equal to, now I need to look at my k, so I need to add 2 to my function, so y is equal to f x plus 1 plus 2. So what happens to my point? My point uh, x negative 1 y would transform to x minus 1, the x value stays the same, and then I just simply add 2. But on the graph, you probably just take points. Which points? I don't know, some points. Influential points, ones that are defining. I think basically the vertex is probably the most important point. I'm going to move it one unit to the left. One unit to the left. Each of these points, I'm moving one unit to the left. It's all good. And now I have I have my function y is equal to f open bracket x plus 1. Now I'm going to shift the blue graph two units up. Just take every point I have and shift to two units up every and I have to start from the points that I'm using are the most recent points. There we are. And I shifted two units up, and there's the red graph. Oh, I missed a point. There we are. Make that point bigger. Boom. There it is. By the way, that is the graph. Y is equal to F, open bracket, X plus 1, close bracket, 2. And if you wanted to write this in, in, in more conventional um functional notation, y is equal to the absolute, you'd start off with y is equal to the absolute value of x. And when you shift this function one unit to the left, it would look like this. 
And if you shift the y is equal to the absolute value of x plus 1 up two units, it would look like this. And if you notice, that was my intended goal.